Thank you. I found a song that saved me through a time. You know how music does that? I was dealing with loss, with pain, and I heard this song and it blew my soul wide open. It became my anthem. It rescued me. And I just kept wondering, who could write this? What did they have to go through to be able to give this gift to me? This is hope, pure hope. It's an amazing song. It just kind of happened. <laughs> Lyrics took about 10 minutes, I guess. Music took about the same. Bart, you didn't write this song in 10 minutes. It took a lifetime. How'd you do this? You've done good, Bart. You've done real good. Oh, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. For me, you know, without the song, you know, it's, it's all about the song. Yeah. Doesn't matter what band. You, know. you might be interested in this band. It was one of the greatest concerts I've ever seen. It was amazing. Down, 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 down. Gun. What you got there? It's a fighter helmet that I made. 
during a big battle in space. You should worked hard on that, didn't you? What's that? It's just, it's just drunk. Like a dream of art, that's good. Hey, you're imagining things. I'm gonna teach you something, Bart. Dreams don't pay the bills. Nothing good comes from it. All it does is keep you from all this. From knowing what's real. You understand that? Huh? Yes, Daddy. Well, see that's a piece of junk. Why don't you just go throw it away? for an adventure? No. Yes, right now. It's called Camp Glorietta. Church down the street takes kids there. It's a fun camp. I called and they said you could go. Come <laughs> on, we're gonna have a great time. We're gonna meet some friends. Make some memories. Can we just do this? Listen. Listen to this music. Me and you. Just listen to the words. I stay a while. I into the heart of the child. I can smile. I can go there. Okay, this is it. You had never met a stranger. Hmm? All right, I can do this. Yeah. Geronimo. Hey. You know I love you, right? I'm, I'm Bart, my friends, like, you call me Bart. I know, <laughs> I'm Shannon, duh. Ready for camp? Mm. It's totally safe. See? See? Well, except for that one kid. You coming? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Nice to meet you, Bart. Hey, bro. This is the cupcake. I'm not very good at it. Campers. Yeah. Campers, up here. So I'm Rusty. For those of you who don't know me, I'm the youth pastor at Greenville Baptist. So if you didn't bring your journals, come up here. We got one for you. You're going to need it for your session tonight. Let's have a great week. Uh, bro, sit down. I got you. So is that like a diary? Or? Uh, kind of, but there's more to it. Helps to get my thoughts sorted, prayers, problems, dreams, stuff I imagine sometimes. Uh, can I see? I'm sorry, I didn't know. B9, you're with me for kitchen duty. Let's do it. Well, that's me. See you later, OK? Hey, Bart, I got your journal. Oh, oh, kids! <laughs> That's me. I didn't know you could draw. Why are you dressed like that? Come with me if you want to live. We're sneaking out. So, what do you want to be when you grow up? An artist? Eh, a football player. That's what my dad was. He was really good, actually. Kind of famous in college. We're gonna get in so much trouble for this. I know, right? Got some great stuff, like industrial grade. Set it all up this afternoon. So you guys, I'm gonna go over there and face in the north direction. Got it? And also, did you know Bart can draw? Hi. So you can draw? I guess so, a little bit. But I'm terrified you saw what's written in my journal. Did you? <laughs> no. What are you talking about? You're lying. You saw every word, didn't you? <laughs> Maybe. Well, then here goes. You know what I think? I think that someday we're going to fall in love, get married, and that's our destiny. And I'm mortified. I'm going to walk down the cell and help Ken. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Shannon, please stay. Why? Afraid of the dark? Afraid of monsters? I just don't like being alone. Sweet. And I want to be a singer just like her someday. Thank you so much. My parents are here to pick me up. Bye. Last stop. This is you. Good to meet you, Bart. I'm gonna see you on Sunday. Hey. She's gone. Gone where? She ran off. She ain't coming back. Just you and me now. When will she be back? I told you she run off. She don't want me no more, and she don't want you neither. What do you do? Are you bowing up on me, boy?
So did you ever see her again? Uh, she'd call now and then. Um, I tried to live with her once, one summer in junior high, but she was in another bad relationship. Worse, actually. Um, my dad drove up and uh, threw the guy off a staircase onto the hood of his car and threatened to kill him if he ever hurt her again, and then grabbed me and took me home. It's kind of ironic. Um, that's about it. So what did you do? I tried to get good at the only thing my dad really cared about. Hey there. Hey there, darling. That's so great. You're making everyone in the stadium feel real uncomfortable. Dude, seriously, that beard makes you look 35. Kent, shut up. Shut up. I like it. Miller! Get over here now. I love you. I know. Hey, just give me a second. It's sour. Jeez. It's a month past this date. I'll make Pop-Tarts then. Just a few things I ask you to do around here, Bart. A few things. I caught before I ran, Dad. I practiced today. Almost scored. How many of them did it take? What? To get you down on the ground, how many did it take? Just one. It's just one. practice, yeah. Nobody could never bring me down. It took the whole football team. That's the way I live my life. When life hits me, I hit back harder. I don't go down. Not then, not now, not never. You understand? What did they say? They said you can't play. For how long? Ever. Well, that's disappointing. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Graduating high school is not stupid. You just have to pick a new elective to replace football. Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. Ever have aspirations of being a seamstress? Well, that's full, so... They're, like, hmm. all full. Except this one. What? Clee Club. Would you...
It's really good. Honey, I think you've got the wrong room. I wish. No offense. None taken. You sing? No. Nope. Act? Not at all. Do you dance? Ma'am, I'm in a wheelchair. <laughs> Please just kick me out of this class. <laughs> I don't turn anyone away. Sugar, what is your name? Uh, Bart Millard. Bart Millard. Yeah. Our new assistant technical director. All right. I don't know what that is. <laughs> This I can do. This is life like no other. Whoa, whoa, this is the great adventure. Hey, congrats, Bart. What? Way to go, Miller. Love. <laughs> Congratulations. What? Nice job, Bart. You haven't heard yet? I gotta say, I'm a little jealous. What are, you, what are you talking about? Hey, you guys ready? No, 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 okay. How excited are you? This picture! Uh-uh. No. What are you trying to do to me? I can't do this. I didn't even try out. You can, and you will and there'll be no further discussion about it. No, 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 look, I am a Miller. Okay, you don't understand, Millards, Millards play football. Millards do not sing. You have a gift, Bart. And in my class, you will be required to use it. Or fail. It's your choice. Look, my leg is still in a cast. I can't even walk. There's two months until the production. You have plenty of time to heal. Please stop making excuses. Okay, I don't sing like that, that Broadway stuff. I'll teach you. Look, Miss Fincher, I like you, okay? You seem like a real good person. I respect you, but there is no way, ever, at all, ever, that you are gonna get me on that stage. Mm-hmm. There's a bright golden haze on the meadow. There's a bright golden haze on the meadow. The corn is as high as an elephant's eye. Me, that can't be his real voice. Oh, punch your monkey's uncle. All the sounds of the earth are like music. All the sounds of the earth are like music. The breeze is so busy, it don't miss a tree. Oh, what a beauty.
sir. You need to understand, it's hospital policy. Well, you can't keep me here. I'm free to go. No, you're not. We saw something in your blood work that concerned us, so we ran a few tests, and I'd like to discuss the results with you. You got my number. You can call me. We need to have this conversation now. Okay. Why did I black out? Because of extremely low blood sugar. So you're saying what? Um, diabetic? No. On your MRI, we discovered a mass. We believe it's cancer. No. No. No, don't. We'd like to run a few more tests and then decide on the best treatment options for you. I don't, I don't need your treatment. I'm gonna go home. Mr. Millard, if you refuse treatment, it could drastically reduce your chances. Dad. What happened? Oh, I'm fine. I'm just fine. Okay, well, let me drive you home. Uh, I, I can make it myself. Mr. Miller, are you okay? I'm Shannon, Bart's girlfriend. Oh, hello, Shannon. Well, how'd Bart wind up with somebody as pretty as you? <laughs> Thank you. That yeah, fine. I'm gonna be all right. What did they say? What's wrong? Uh, I just had a little incident. I had a low blood sugar. I was over at the diner and I and I fell down. And actually, I was looking at your name on an advertisement for play. Didn't think you'd want to come. Did, did you ever sing for you? Cause I, I had no idea. I had no idea at all. He was good. He was real good. I'm sorry, Dad. Oh. I should have invited you. Oh, don't, don't we'll talk about it later. It's fine. Just let me drive you home. Oh, or something. You, you take care of your pretty girl there. Where are you going? Going to the cast party. Not missing it for this. Excuse me. I'm sorry. What's wrong with him? Are you family? No. Well, you need to ask him. Thank you. on breakfast. What's with the get up? Going to a funeral? <laughs> no. Just going to church, Dad. Church. <clears throat> Sit down and eat. Come on. Sit down and eat. Getting cold. Did you see this? Look at that. <laughs> Front page. You look like a Pinocchio cowboy. <laughs> it's a good joke. So that's what I am to you, a joke? I didn't say that. You just said it. What? Don't put words in my mouth. What if I want to sing? Why is that so funny? I mean, maybe I'm good at it. The pastor of the church asked me to sing this morning. It's got to mean something. He asked you to sing for a living? That's what I'm saying. You're going to need to find something you're good at that you can actually earn a living at because you're going to have to support yourself one of these days. Why do you even know? You've never even heard me sing. Well, that's not my fault. All I hear out of you is whining and moaning. Okay. I'm singing this morning at church. 10 o'clock on Radio AM 1080. Why don't you come watch no, me sing? I can't do that. Why not? No, I just don't belong there. Why? I just don't. I don't. Don't belong there. Okay. My boy barks. Oh, he's nothing but a big disappointment. I wish you'd never been born. Everything been just fine. All my problems are because of Bart. Hey, oh, hey wish... you put words in my mouth. I'm gonna put a fist in your face. Yeah, I'm a little big for that, Dad. Oh, you think yet? Yeah. I think Is those days are over. Yeah. Is that what you I think? do, yeah. Listen, if you have to talk to me with respect, I'm the one that puts the food on the table. I earn the living around here, and I'm the one who stayed. I don't see your mama anywhere. Yeah, well, nobody blames her for leaving, Dad. I would have left, too. Just shut up. Just shut up and eat. 
not hungry, teacher. I'm not hungry. Bladen. Oh, Are you okay? it's nothing. It's fine. Are you sure? I'm fine. I'm wondering if you guys could all maybe pray for a friend of mine. This friend, I think, is lying to me about their life. I don't know what to do because I want to help, and they just won't let me. And I just feel like the more I try, it just kind of gets worse and worse. And so now when I look at them, all I see is a mask. Pray for them. No one can live a life forever, okay? Of course they know you're talking about me. Do you know how embarrassing that is? I was just trying to get you to listen. What is going on with you? I'm fine. You're not fine. Is it your dad? I can help, just let me come over. I don't want you at my house. Why? Because I just don't. Where is this coming from? I don't know, maybe from deep inside my mask. That's not funny. It's kind of funny. Please you don't. got me all figured out. You push everyone away. Don't add me to that list. I love you. I've always loved yeah, well, you. I've never really loved you. I mean, we're, we're graduating soon. You're going off to college. I'm chasing some stupid dream, right? I never said your dream was stupid. I mean, this has been fun. No regrets for me, all right? But people change, you know what I mean? We obviously can't get along anymore. I'm leaving. Shit. That's graduation. I'm, I'm gone. Go. I can't stay here, Shannon. You know, Mike, it's amazing how people quit when they don't get paid. I should try that sometime. Right, look, we are opening for the opening act at a youth conference. It's impossible. That's the whole problem. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. It's Confucius. I don't even know what that means. It's offensive to me as an artist. An artist? We're making 90 bucks right. between three of us. That's not We have art. no vocals. We got no show. It's impossible. Well, the only impossible things are the things that we call impossible. What is that, Aristotle? Well, that one's a fortune cookie. Nathan, nobody understands oh, you, man. Okay, look, hey, you're always so cranky. Yeah, man. Sister Molly, oh, Demo do not. Why are you running out hey, to guys, if you guys, if you guys need a singer, I'll sing. Um, uh, <laughs> I also patch cables, and you know, I can run the board and turn the lights on, and I write songs too, kind of sometimes. Who are you? Joined up with the band. I mean, all we had was the clothes on our backs. Took every gig we could, and anywhere they'd let us play, we were all technically homeless, I guess.
the guitar. Yeah. Mr. Nathan on the bass. Give it up for Nathan. Jim on the keys. Yeah, and I'm Bart. We are Mercy. And Robbie on the drums. He's new. Thank you all for being there. You have a good time? Yeah. I sure hope so, because that's all the songs we got. <laughs> you know what? Let me tell you a story before we go. Um, it was when I was uh, 10, 11 years old, life was tough. Um, it, was, it was really tough, actually. I needed something. And I remember I've, I've always loved music, you know? And I found some songs that I just, man, I, I held on to. You know what I mean? Like an anchor in a storm. And they got me through. And they told me about a father in heaven that, that wanted me. You know, a father that loves me so much that he died for me. A father that would never leave me. And I listened to these songs over and over and over and over again and they gave me hope because I needed it. Maybe tonight, so do you. Sing this with me. Oh Lord, you're beautiful. Your face is all I see. For when Your face is all I see. For when your eyes are on this child, your grace abounds to me. Hey, Bart. Hey, where are you headed, man? We got Someone I got to see, man. Who? Scott Brickman. Is that Manages Audio you? Adrenaline, a bunch of others. Yeah, well, why was he here? Because I wrote him a letter every week for the past two years. Gotta go. Uh, Mr. Brickle. It's just Brickle. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Um, I didn't know you were coming. Thank you. Yeah, well, I did. Merry Christmas. Uh, you know, we mostly just play uh, big shows, you know, but uh, sometimes we like to give back to, you know, smaller venues like this one. Yeah, look, Barth. Um, uh, it's Bart. Sorry. And what's the name of your band again? Uh, it's Mercy Me, you know, because when I, when I told my mama that we were starting a band, she was like, Mercy Me, you get a real job. And I was like, oh, me, <laughs> And then the guys were like, did she really say that? And I was like, yeah, we, we have to name the band Mercy, because that's what we called it. Son, the sheer volume of words that comes out of your mouth is exhausting. You're not ready. That's what I think. You got talent, you got potential, you can sing, but I don't think you found your song, found your soul, you know what I'm saying? Look, that last thing you did, that was, that was special. Next gig, you should do that the whole time, the entire show. See how that works for you. 
That's not the kind of music that we sing, though. Trust me, son, you have no idea what kind of music you sing. We write our own music. We don't just do covers. Well, then write something like that, and then give me a call. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. You, you gotta go with us. We got two more shows in Texas. We got plenty of room on the bus. All right? You know, you can't just change up our whole act and then abandon us, right? You don't seem like that kind of person, I can tell. I flew coach in a middle seat to rent a car that I can't even fit in to drive three hours to the middle of nowhere to have you tell me you want me to travel on that with you. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> well, I need to get another job. Yes, is this Shannon Street? Yes, who is this? Uh, it's the police, ma'am. Uh, we need to speak with you. Can you come downstairs? It's for your own safety. played a gig here. Um, I don't know if you know this yet, but we, we actually have a CD now with actual songs on it, like a real CD. Here, that's for you. We have three more shows. What if you came with us? We could go on the road, we could grab Kent, hit the road, and it'd be like before, Three Musketeers. I'm going to bed. Oh, come on, Shannon. Go on an adventure, it'll be fun. Adventure? Really? Yeah. What are you thinking coming here like this? I don't know, I didn't really think about it. I just thought it'd be fun, you know, just an idea. That's it? Only reason? Yep. I don't want to go on any more adventures with you. You know, I want you to know that I pray for you all the time. I do, I really do. And I hope that you find whatever it is that you're looking for out there. Thank you for the CD. What is God? Are you getting signed back there? She will not be joining us. Shocker. <sighs> well, ain't she the smart one? Nashville. Seen all I need to see. Plus, I need to make some plans on account of booking you guys a venue for GMA Week. <laughs> what? It's GMA Week? What? What is that? It's only the biggest convention in music. Just go on the bus. Sorry. Right. I couldn't get the main stage, but I'll get some record labels there. What I need you to do is invite every youth group you can. Stack the room. 
and then just do what you did tonight. Wait, so you like tonight? Don't get cocky, kid. time and I uh we're playing this uh big showcase tomorrow and uh it's a big deal for us and we just uh we're ready but we're kind of terrified too um I guess that's it just wanted to tell you that uh Broadway, I know, but it's the best I could do on short notice. Are you kidding me? This is perfect. Oh, and guys, this is your sound man, Dingo. Anything you need, just let him know. You got us a sound guy? <laughs> Did you get a label to come? No. I got five. I'm working on a few more. I just need you to make sure this place is full. And bring the rain, gentlemen. Yeah, Absolutely. Buddy, you ready for this? Good crowd, huh? Bart, we've got a little situation I need to talk to you about. Come on. So, Bart, there's somebody I want you to meet. This is a friend of mine who came down here tonight. This Hello, is Michael. Smitty? W. Smith. <laughs> Smitty, right? That's what your friends call you, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dude, nice to meet you. I am like a huge fan from like all the uh, sorry, like so good. all yeah, the yeah. way back, way back. Your tour with Amy Grant was just so inspiring for me. Thanks. I remember man. you wore that vest. That red vest. Dude, that was bold. I, I don't think I, I wore a red vest. I would vest. buy that vest. No, you did. You wore this red. Vest, you did, did I wear a red vest on our tour? He did. Yes, he just... you did. It was velvet. <gasps> oh, man. <laughs> what? Miss Bart, I'm... Oh, oh we're... Okay. <sighs> oh. <sighs> you okay? I just threw up a little bit. Yeah, no, I'm good. I just... You were like... <sighs> the first Christian tape I ever got was Never Alone. And it was like, like an anchor for me. Thank you, you know so I mean? much. That means yeah, so much to me. It was just, it was, it was great. <laughs> there um, you are. And we're just so, so you, excited. Like, to here's Wonder watch. Woman. Go get him. Yeah. Please. Yeah. You are like a yeah. superhero. We got what? Reverse, right? We're yeah. hanging out. Yeah. Hi guys. This is Mike. Hi. Uh, good luck. Time yeah, to go. Good. Have a good one. Great. Did you see? How Stressing me out, man. 
Sorry. It's nerves, you know. I wish they'd hurry up. I thought it was good, right? It felt good. Good, good. good, good man. It's the best yeah. show we ever played. Crowd was into it. I'm gonna go talk to him. No, no hey, hey, hey. Brickle's got it. Let him do his job. What if he can't? Hey, wait, wait. Dude, no, wait. That's a mistake. But if you could see how far they've come from the first time I saw them. Hey, hey guys, gentlemen. Oh, and also lady. So you uh, guys know nice Bart. Nice to meet y'all. Thanks for coming out tonight. But I've been getting some good feedback from these guys, and I'm almost, I mean, I'm almost awesome finished. Or what? I mean, don't y'all agree? I think we're pretty much finished up here anyway. Oh, come on. I want to know what you think. Uh, let, me, let me finish I up want here. to know what they think. You really want to know? Yeah, I do. Come on. Lay it on me. Give me all you got, Mr. Music Man. I have the skin of a rhino. All I got. Okay. I'm sorry to have to be the one to tell you this, kid, but, um... You're just not good enough. Not yet, anyway. What? You're wrong. Seventh graders at youth camp. That's one thing, Bart, but this... This is about record sales, and I just can't sell what you're doing up there. Seventh grade. We packed the house, man. We've been selling our own albums for years now. I mean, what what world are you guys living in? Reality. Look, you need to embrace reality, Bart. You're stuck. You're not good enough, Bart. Dreams don't pay the bills. All it does is keep you from all this. From knowing what's real. What about the stuff we played at the end? The worship music. Oh, beautiful. Magical. Truly. I've got a brother-in-law in Denver. He's looking for a worship pastor. I could put you two together if you like. Is she serious? It's the truth you're mad at. Not me. My high school football team. There are a couple of guys that are good enough to make a big noise in a small town. That was it. You know what? They're still there. They're stuck. And that's what'll happen to you. We gotta be good at something we can Just sell. stop! Do you guys not get it? Okay, we've given everything for this moment. There's no plan B for us. Okay, we will do whatever it takes. We will work harder than anybody else. Tell me what you need me to do. Look, I work with a lot of bands, and I can recognize who's gonna make it and who isn't. And I gotta tell you the truth, Bart. You won't. How dare you say that? You don't even know me. Go home. That's what you should do. Dad, I can do this. No, you can't. I can do no, this. No, you can't. And you're gonna blink your eyes, and you're gonna realize that you're nothing and that life has gotten you nowhere because you chased some stupid dream. Wake up! Let me finish up. No. Here. Bart. No, I'm not leaving. Yes. I'm not leaving. Yes, you are. Let me finish up. Let me finish up. What happened? What'd they say? Bart, you okay? You're not good enough, Bart. You're not. Well, that didn't take very long. So what now? What I do we do now? I don't know. Give me a second. There's got to be something we can do. Just, I mean, let I, me think for a second. You should take that from him out there. Huh? Just, You're the manager. Do you not have an idea? Hold on. What is the next step? Sometimes there is no next step, Bart. Okay? You just ticked off half of Nashville in there. What's he talking what? about? You know what? <laughs> this is all there is. And I'm done. What? And I quit. What? No. Wow, really? No, what about us? What about the band? What band, Mike? What about it? They hated it. They hated all of it. They hated us. I'm done. Sorry to disappoint. Can I come in or you want to sulk a little longer? So, you just gonna quit? Is that it? You got a better idea? I'm tired, man. I'm... <laughs> I got nothing left. I'm gonna be honest with you, like I told you I would be. 
Sometimes when you're up there, it's like you're singing somebody else's music. It's like a fake imitation. I don't believe it. I don't believe you. Well, this has gone from bad to worse. Thank you. But then there are times when I see something real. I see something authentic. But as soon as it shows up, it's like you're afraid and and then it vanishes just as quick as it came. And that's what makes you a puzzle to me. Let me ask you something, Bart. What are you running from? My dad. He, uh... He... He beat you, didn't he? You ain't got no poker face, kid. And I carry that. I have to live with that, you know? I always will. Then write about it. Stop running from it. Let that pain become your inspiration. And then you'll have something that people can believe in. But to do that, you got to face your fears, son. You know, Bart, I may not always believe in your music, but I do believe in you. You sold me, kid. Don't quit. Hey, guys. Uh... Sorry. Um, there's some things I need to take care of. Some stuff I need to sort out. I gotta go home. But I'd really, really like it if you guys would wait for me. So we're still a band. No, uh, we're a family. Okay. <sighs> the band continued east, and I headed back west, hoping they would wait on me. I knew I needed to deal with things at home. I needed to face the pain. But the closer I got, the only thing I felt was dread. Bart. Are you hungry? I, uh, I, I heard you come in last night, so I made some bacon and uh, cinnamon rolls and uh, a frittata, which I just learned how to make. When did you learn how to cook? Well, I've been learning a lot lately. Won't you go on in there? I, I set the table. Uh, here. Uh, key to the frittata is how hot you make the pan. That's a secret. Yeah, 
going to say grace. What? Don't do it. Oh. God, it's me here, Arthur. I want to thank you for answering my prayer. And uh, rub it up, dub, and thanks for the grub. Amen. So you found God or something? Well, I've, I've been listening to some preachers on the radio and uh, uh, reading the Bible and whatnot. What part? To all of it. And uh, a couple of times, actually. And uh, it's pretty confusing. It's like Leviticus. What is that? I don't, I, I don't get it. What prayer? You said God answered a prayer. What prayer? This is seeing you again. Well, Dad, I've been busy. <clears throat> yeah. I guess you noticed I've got a few projects going on around here. And I got one out in the garage I was hoping that you'd help me with. Uh, I've been uh, rebuilding a Jeep of mine. And, man, when I was your age, I made some memories in that Jeep. And I was hoping that maybe we could uh, get it running again and, I don't know, go somewhere. What are you doing? Do what is this? I, I, I wrote you some letters. Did you get them? Yeah. Threw them away. Did you read them? Nope. Oh. Um, I thought that's why you came back last night, huh? Oh, I, well, I was just trying to make a memory. That's all. Well, that's kind of hard for me to do, Dad. So all the memories that we have together are bad. Uh, if you want some, get some ketchup. Son, I, I know that I, I did some things that I'm You did not some so things? I got a memory for you, Dad. That night you beat me so badly but I had to sleep on my stomach because I was so bruised. I couldn't move. What was I, 10? 11? Yeah, I remember that. That, uh, that tore me up. I, I cried that all night about what I did to you then. I cried too, Dad. In pain. All night. Why were you? And now you just want to come back in here, make breakfast, pretend like nothing ever happened? It doesn't work that way, Dad. What am I going to do, Bert? I, I just, I want to make things right with you and me. And um, I don't know what to say. I don't know how to do it. I'm trying. I'm reading a lot of books I don't understand. And I... just got a lot of questions about myself. I don't have nobody to... to answer them for me. You've got... Can forgive everybody else. Why can't he forgive me? God can forgive you. I can't. I can't believe I came back here.
can't you give me a chance? No! You just gotta give up on that dream, Dad. Because it keeps you from this. From knowing what's real. Dad, are you dying? Yeah. I can show you, Dad. With your questions, I can show you how. you to write these words. God, tonight, I choose to forgive, and I want you to finish that sentence. Now, you may say to me, you don't know how hard it is for me to forgive this person. You don't know what they've done. And I'd say, I know it's hard. But if you have been forgiven by God, then he gives you the power to forgive others.
here late than never. How's it doing? We got a special treat for you this morning. Any of y'all heard the uh, story of John Newton? He was a sea captain, slave trader. He was tormented and racked with guilt and shame. Well, he found forgiveness. He found Christ. He wrote a little song about that called Amazing Grace. That song touched the world. Hey, what? Figured out why you like John. What? Why you like to fix things, why you. You make something out of nothing all the time. <laughs> Dude, they got a word for that. What's that word? It's redemption. Redemption? Yeah. Hey. Hey, what is, what is this note here? Right there. What's that note? G. Yeah. What, what's that note? C. C. G to C. You got some competition now, boy. Yeah. Yeah. you do? You two are meant for each other. Whatever you did, even if you don't know what you did, you're wrong. <laughs> they ever tell you I'm not your mom? Well, tell me. Hey, this is Shannon. Leave a message. Hey, Shannon. Um, I don't know if you're getting these messages or not, but... I just wanted you to know that I'm I'm back home and I'm uh, I'm journaling again. I'm writing a lot, uh, like we did when we were kids. It feels really good. Love you, boy. Mm. Uh, I was listening, Bart. I was listening to you. saying and I'd listen to every word and then you'd finish and then I'd listen to what they were talking about there at church that's what saved me I was real proud of you it's real proud 
I told you not to follow your dreams. But that's only because mine made it and never came true. But you're not me. You're not like me. Take care of your part. You got something for you, bird. Yeah. I don't know. I never made much money, but I have my life insurance, and I I tried to save everything I could. And I want you to have that so you can pay attention to your, your singing. And you'll get a check every month so you can go chase your dream. And I want you to catch it. <laughs> Don't you ever look back. You promise? Sing a song, son. I'm sleepy. Sing. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch. Like me, I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. Imagine what he's seeing up there, Bob. Just Thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> Where are we going? West. A couple gigs in New Mexico.
Okay. stage since I lost my dad and uh, I'm learning to deal with it and, and I deal with it the only way I know how and that's to write a song and I'm gonna I'm well I'm gonna sing it for you now this is called I can only imagine Kid wrote this. Yeah, he did. <laughs> wow. I know. I can't stop listening to it. I'm gonna start pitching it around town. I know who you need to send it to. Phone. Jim, get it. You're right there. Phone. Seriously? Oh, no, I got it. You look cool. really no, I got it. I got it. Let it go. Let it go. Okay, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Hello. Who is this? Sure. Yeah. Hold on. Let me get him. <clears throat> Bart, phone's for you. Bart. Hey, hello. <laughs> yeah, right. Good one, guys. Real good joke. Whose idea was that? Amy Grant. Uh, that, that was her, man. That, that was Amy Grant you yeah. hung up on. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah that happened. Amy, hello? Yeah. Hello? Actual Amy Grant? Jim, how do I redial? It's a rotary phone, Bart. There's we gotta be a way to redial him. Call him back. How do I get in charge? We can't. Hey, Amy. You didn't write this song in 10 minutes. It took a lifetime. Well, Scott gave me Imagine when I was dealing with a friend losing a battle, you know? And it got me through. I couldn't stop listening. I mean, it's a career maker, and I know some songs can be real personal. Is this what you really want? You know, I've never told anybody my story. My dad was a monster. I mean, that's the only word for it. And I saw God transform him from a man that I hated into the man I wanted to become, into my best friend. And I didn't realize it soon enough. I guess I didn't think that God could do that. And so I wrote this song. And I want as many people as possible to hear it. And you can do that. I can't. So, 
Yes. This is what I want. So, Brick, you know us. We lay our cards on the table. Amy needs a comeback song. We believe this is it. Amy is doing a homecoming date here in Nashville to kick off a fall tour. We'd like to showcase it there. Hey, Shannon. Um, I just wanted to call you and let you know um, I wrote a new song. It feels different than anything I've written before. Um, I think it might be it might be something special. Um, Shannon, I'm sorry I hurt you. I know I hurt you over and over and over again. And I, I'm sorry. It had nothing to do with you. It never did. It had nothing to do with you. I just... I'm sorry I hurt you. Hello? Beautiful, isn't it? I can't think of a better place to unveil Imagine. I hope I can do it justice. It's gonna be something. Mm -hmm. When do you record it? Soon. Just gotta find that sound. I've listened to your tape a thousand times. Is there anything you want me to say after I sing it? Tell him I wrote it for my dad. JC in Birmingham. Okay, bribe him with chocolate. Actually, Snickers bars. He loves them. Okay? Yeah, I got it. And you put on there from the writers of I Can Only Imagine. Yeah, yeah, I've got 200 copies. Okay, good. Hey, uh, delivery truck just got here. So, uh, I'll load them up. All right, good. Okay. This next song is really something special. See, I found a song that saved me through a time. You know how music does that? Yeah. <laughs> See, I was, um, I was dealing with loss, with pain, and I heard this song and it just blew my soul wide open. It lifted me up, it rescued me. And you're the first ones to ever hear it. This is I Can Only Imagine. Please. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the writer of this song is here tonight, and I want you all to meet him. Bart, come on up. I'm not joking, come on up. It's not just a song that's special, it's you. And this story is not my story, it's yours. And this moment, it doesn't belong to me, it belongs to you. Take it. Bart Millard wrote this song, this beautiful song, and I want him to be the one to sing it for y'all tonight, for the first time ever. This is for my dad. Surrounded by your glory, what will my heart feel? Will I dance for you, Jesus? Or in all of you be still? Will I stand in your presence? Or to my knees will I fall? Will I sing hallelujah? Will I be able to speak it all? I can only I can only imagine I can only imagine When that day comes And I find myself Standing in the sun I can only imagine When all I will do Is forever Forever worship you I can only imagine, yeah. I can only imagine. Surrounded by your glory, what will my heart feel? Will I dance for you, Jesus? Or in all of you be still? Will I stand in your presence? Or to my knees or will I can only imagine when all I will do 
is forever, forever worship you. I can only Been you. I've always loved you. I know. Excuse me, I hate to be rude. This is an emergency. I, I, I promise. I promise. Okay? Come on, Jim. Hello? Stop the truck. What? You have to stop the truck. Amy's giving the song back to us. She's giving us Imagine. Imagine is going out as our first single. Stop, stop the truck. truck. Why? Amy's giving it back. Stop staring at me! Stop the truck! for you on Magic 104.5. Uh, guys, this is on the radio. Hey, can we give this a try? Here's a brand new song from a brand new band. In this week on the countdown in the number one slot. Have you heard this song? This song's gonna blow you away. This song already means so much to so many people. This is Mercy Me. It's called I Can Only Imagine. It's the number one Christian song in America, now charting on country and pop charts as well. I just, I love this song. This is Mercy Me on The Delilah Show. So you know this is not a religious station, and we are not religious people, not by a long shot. But believe it or not, this is the number one most requested song on the station. It's I Can Only Imagine by Mercy Me.
to sing this great song, I Can Only Imagine. Please welcome Bart. If anybody I went to high school with is listening, I made it. I Can Only Imagine is a song that was written after my father passed away with cancer many years ago. Uh, he was abusive most of my, my life. If he had a bad day, he took it out on me. And he was diagnosed with cancer when I was in high school. So I saw Jesus change him completely. He went from a monster to being the man, a man that was desperately and passionately in love with Jesus. And uh, it kind of set me on this war path for the gospel because if the gospel can change that dude, the gospel can change anybody. Yeah. <laughs> forever forever worship you 